welcome to another video on recumbent trikes and today we are going over tear trike. I'm Mickey from Laid Back Cycles and yes, I ride laid back and I'm gonna go over the full lineup of the 2018 tear trikes. The first one we're gonna go and review, it's a brief review, is the tear trike rover. And it's a pretty cool trike. It's one that everybody could ride and uh, let's start with that one. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the rover. Now, if you have a challenge or, or you don't like riding a two-wheel bike for some reason, I don't care whether it's your back, your hips, your knees, whatever it is, a three-wheel trike is the way to go. And so the rover is a recumbent trike that's a beginning model, entry level. It is great for you to get on it and just kind of go, right? It's, they start with an eight speed. You can get an eight speed external, internal, or even the new Vinci drive, which you don't even have to think. You just twist it to make it easier or to go faster. And so the Rover, it's a, a high tensile steel frame. It's a little heavier. Now we're gonna talk about the Rambler in a minute, which is gonna be the lighter chromoly frame. But this one's great to get you out there, to get you rolling again, and to get you riding again. And so we're using the, the Y-frame here, easy to get in and out. You just back in, sit down, your legs never have to leave the ground. And you got your mountain bike style handlebars on here. And it's really easy. Not a lot of gears, very simple. But if you're wanting to go up hills and you're wanting to go a little further, I'd probably recommend to go with the Rambler. So let's check out the Rambler now. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the Rambler. The Rambler is the upgrade from the Rover. Now if you wanna go a little further, go a little faster, have a little lighter trike, the Rambler is a great way to go. It's a chromoly frame, it's lightweight. Um, it has a breathable mesh seat versus the nylon seat that the Rover has. And so when you're riding, the moisture wicks away nicely and it's very breathable, easy to ride far distances or around the block, it doesn't matter. And so with this one here, this one's a 30 speed. You got your 16 speed, you got your 20 speed, you got your 30 speed. And so you got some choices with it. And you can test them out, try them out. Uh, if you're getting it shipped um, anywhere in the country is what we will do with the with the different Teratrikes is we can ship right to your door. That's pretty cool. But um, yeah, try it out. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Talk to one of the guys. They'll go over all the details on it. But this one here is very similar to the uh, Rover, but it's lightweight, easy to ride, and more gearing to go further places. But what if you got stuck on a hill? What if you got stuck like you got fatigued going home? Do you wish there were a way, there was a way to get home a little easier? Well, there is, it's called the Evo. Let's check it out now. Okay, now we are on to the Terratrike Evo. This is the Rambler Evo. So it's the Rambler design, but with electric vehicle option. What that means is that it's electric assist, it's pedal assist. So if you get stuck on a hill, the motor can help you get up the hill. If you get tired, the motor can get you further. If you wanna go on longer rides, the motor's there to assist you to get further. And so that's the cool thing about the motor. The motor uh, will get you anywhere between 16 and 20 miles per hour, which is on most bike trails, the speed limit, 15, max 20. Um, and it keeps it at a bike classification, which is the class two. Class three is gonna go up to 28, and that's gonna to be too fast, especially on a trike. So you wanna keep that down. Now there are some trikes, like the uh, Sportster that is meant to go faster, or like the Gran Turismo which is meant to go faster, um, and those can handle those higher speeds. But a motor usually is there to help assist you get wherever you wanna go. It's easy to use, it thinks for itself, and when you need the extra power, it gives you the extra power. So just think Rambler, but with electric power assist on it. And this one here is pretty cool. We actually added on some adaptive pedals, which will actually, like if you got bad knees or something like that, the, the adaptive pedals will adjust for your knees. And so this is similar to the Rambler in the fact that it's a breathable mesh seat, chromoly frame to keep it light. Now the battery system and the motor system does add on a little bit of weight, but hey, you don't feel it because it's helping you. So anyway, you know what the next trick is? It's from the, from the Rambler family, but this one will get you off-road, 
or if you want, it's just easy to get in and out. It's the all-terrain. Let's check it out. Okay, now we're going over the Terratrike all-terrain. This thing is pretty dang awesome. It'll get you on the trail, off the trail, anywhere you want to go pretty much. This thing here, it has beefier, meatier tires that will actually grip into dirt, sand. It'll take you on those gravel roads. Pretty much, if you are going on a little rougher terrain and you want something to kind of go over things without getting a lot of bumps and jarring and has good clearance, that's going to be the all-terrain. It's pretty cool. It's again, it's part of the Rambler family. So you got the chromoly frame, lightweight, breathable seat, but it just has that cool factor. And so this one here has trigger shifters. It's easy to use. You don't have to really think about much on this one, except where do you want to go? And so that's the brief uh, all-terrain overview. We'll actually do a whole video on it later and we'll actually show us taking this out on the road uh, because that's what we do here at Laidback Cycles. We test them out and then we give you a review. We tell you what we think and I think this one's pretty awesome. But hey, this is going everywhere. How about something that goes somewhere faster? Well, it's the Gran Turismo. It's probably our most favorite trike of all the trikes that we sell. Um, and it's pretty cool. Let's check it out right over here. Okay, we are here with the Terra Trike Gran Turismo Recumbent Trike. It's pretty awesome. It's fast, it's cool, and this thing here is one of our favorite trikes. Now, a little bit about this trike. What it's similar to is the old Tour 2 that they had, and, and that thing was pretty cool. It's low, it's fast. It's fun, you had a lot of options on it. But a lot of options that they did back in the day was we put a larger wheel on the back. Well, when Terratrike redesigned the Tour 2 into the Gran Turismo, they said, let's have it come with the larger wheel. So this one has a 24 inch wheel that gives you more speed off the get go, but yet it's giving you great climbing ability versus like having a 26 or 700 like that. It has great climbing, and it has great speed. And we actually put electric motors on these things, gives you great power assist, gives you a little extra speed when you're cruising down the road. But this one here, again, now we, we changed some things up on this. We went ahead and we put a wide frame uh, in the back for your rear stays. Um, it gives a lot more rigid rear end, helps you take those turns a little faster. And uh, we have the wide frame easy to get in and out. Uh, this one comes in an X16 and X20. So X16 is going to be your entry level speed demon. And then the X20 is going to be with all the cool features and uh, the nicer rims and, and shifting and stuff like that. So anyway, Gran Turismo, you like to go fast, you like to tour, you like to cruise at a little higher speed, or you just want something fun. Gran Turismo will actually get you where you want to go and uh, you'll have fun and you'll look cool in your neighborhood. So that's pretty awesome. But hey, did you know that there's, there's also a Sportster? Well, this one here right now is kind of out selling the Sportster, but the Sportster is the aluminum frame model, which is their like their fastest trike that they have. And so we'll take a quick look at that one and uh, then we'll go on to the tandem and check that one out. Cool. Okay, we are gonna go over the Terratrike Sportster. We're talking about the 2018 Terratrike lineup. Uh, this is actually a 2017 Sportster. The 2018 is actually being test ridden right now. So, but I wanna go ahead and hit on this really quick while we're doing a video. So, the nice thing about the Sportster is it's lightweight. It's easy to lift up, easy to ride, a little faster. 26 inch rear wheel, more speed. Everything about this is speed. They even have a super light one. So you can get carbon cranks, you can get road gearing, everything that you want to go fast. That's what the Terratrike Sportster is. Terratrike Sportster and Gran Turismo, those two right now, they're racing, they're having fun, but you know, if you want the lightest and the fastest, it's gonna be the Sportster. If you want a great touring trike, Gran Turismo, it'll get you there fast. And so, but you know what? Let's say if you want a trike, but you want to fold it up nice and small so you can fit it in back of your car. Most of these will fit into any hatchbacks and stuff like that, but if you've got a trunk 
or maybe a small camper that you want to squeeze it in a little cubby, what do we do about that? Well, let's check out the Traveler that folds up nice and small right over here. Okay, we are back. And you know what? We're checking out the Folding Traveler by Terratrike. Hey, check out my glasses fold. And they're compact, they can go in small places. But we also have a folding trike that will also com get compact and go into small places. So the cool thing about this is the seat comes off, the rear wheel will actually fold over, and the front two wheels will fold over. It gets super small. It's the smallest trike folding trike on the market. So a lot of trikes only have one pivot. This has three pivots that you actually can cram it into small places. They even make a cool little holder that you can like throw it over your shoulders and carry it around. And so, now, trikes aren't super light. They're gonna be over 30 pounds most of, the point, most of the time. So, but it's good to like travel with. So that's why it's called a Traveler. So if you want a foldable Rambler style, it's a Rambler style frame, check out the Traveler. It's a pretty cool trike. And so, but hey, what if you wanna travel with a friend? Well, I'd take a tandem out. And so we're gonna check out one of our tandems. Well, this tandem here is, our shop tandem and so it gets a lot of use but it's the tandem rover it's good for going to the store taking your buddy around the corner um, if you got somebody with adaptive needs needs putting them on back uh, whatever you want to do uh, the rover tandem is kind of cool for that and then they make a tandem pro which we're actually going to show a video of us out on the tandem pro out on the bike trail it's going to be pretty cool but let's check out the rover tandem which anybody can buy it's just a rover with a little addition if you own a rover right now you could add that tandem part to it at any time not quick to change over once you do it but you could if you wanted to so we're going to go check it out now okay we are here with the terra trike rover tandem the cool thing about the rover is we can turn it into a tandem by taking the rover and taking the tandem attachment and putting them together. And so you don't have to buy a whole new trike, you actually just can buy the rear section. And it's pretty cool. Uh, you can take your buddy with you, you can take your spouse with you. If somebody has adaptive needs, they can be in back and they don't have to stare, or, uh, and they can help pedal. And they also have where you have independent pedaling um, and you can actually, uh, the person on the front can pedal and the person back can stop or vice versa. Uh, there's a lot of cool things about the Tandem Rover. We're actually going to do a whole video on it later. But you know what? This is good for cruising around town. But if you want to go a little further, I'd recommend to go into the TerraTrike Tandem Pro. And the Pro has a wider gear range. It's a lighter weight frame. It's chromoly versus a high tensile steel frame. And it's their upgraded. It's kind of like the Gran Turismo um, quality of speed and, and lightweight and stuff like that. But it's a tandem. And the cool thing about the Tandem Pro is it comes apart into two pieces easily so that you could actually put it in the back of your SUV or your station wagon or whatever you have. And you actually can take it around the country or from city to city, it doesn't matter. Um, it is like the ultimate touring tandem. And it's a trike, so you don't have to worry about balance. Well, that was the lineup of Terra Trike. Uh, we went through uh, all the different models. Uh, what do you think? Tell me, uh, give me some feedback below for the comments. If you like the video, like it. And uh, also remember to subscribe below.